watching part two of this because apparently I was going too hard, way too fucking hard. But anyway, as I was saying, we're infringing upon our spaces. We're infringing upon our beliefs. We're infringing upon our right to say, hey, I don't want to do that because it seems more rude now. We change the dynamic of how we need to care about each other's space and time because all of us feel so limited that we're trying to reach for some type of connection. And it's not making sense to us why somebody would deny that in a place or time where you two are not supposed to like be apart. You're all I have. You're all I see. I have to. Oh, that's that song. What is that? What is that song? Do you normally stream with the delay? I'm getting five seconds latency on my end with zero drop frames. Um, I don't think I do. I, I don't think I do. I can check real quick. Nah, no delay. I'm all good on your man, dope. So, this encroachment means that you have to lead or try to find an escape from your situations at whole because you need to also be comfortable being able to spend these spend this time with these people because it's almost demanded of you you know oh i just hit you up on i hit you up on facebook i saw um i i saw i saw um i saw you online sorry that's what i was trying to say i saw you online why the hell aren't you answering my message i know you're home i know you're home i know you're home i know you're home i know you're like come on bro get off my back like you're on my you're you're on my yak right now get let me so when it came time for us to start transitioning to seeing people online, we started seeing more and more and more people and getting invited to events and this and that, and it was easy. You couldn't manage your time because even though you were at home, you were pretty much just as busy as you were before. Plus the capitalistic grind, I need the money. I need the money. Show me the money. Show me the money. Or else I'm going to be poor and kicked out my home. It's going to be radical. I'm going to be living out on the street. I won't take this defeat. <laughs> Compound that with not even being able to control the or say to people, yo, I just want to game by myself tonight. Bro, come into the party. Like, what are you doing? Like, we never get the game. We never get this opportunity. We're always what? Busy? Oh, yeah, I forgot about taking care of myself. So when you start saying things like, I don't want to vaccinate. When you start saying things like children shouldn't wear masks, I don't like masks, masks do nothing. When people say things like the death toll from COVID is just overinflated so hospitals can get there, you're doing all these things, you're taking all these positions, you're 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 extrapolating all the knowledge that you could possibly have about the universe and especially your friends and family. And you're all you're all Chipping away at it till it becomes a, just the a, just the nicest sword to stick through a straw man just for you to feel like you're the smartest person in the room. I don't get it. I don't get it. You see people get mad and like you hear reports of somebody getting threatened with knives and, and getting assaulted for asking to put on a mask like you're causing the issue
And I don't understand how people don't see themselves causing that issue. Making themselves out to be some type of martyr, like their points are valid, like they're saying something worth being said. And they're just fine with that. And they're just fine with that, yo. I'll never understand it. I'll never get it. I'll never, I'll never figure out why they feel the way they feel. But at the same time, I guess that's just always going to be a question that I'm going to have. Is how did we get to a point where basic kindness has to have some type of goal to it? Right then and there, I feel like a whole bunch of people should just stop and say, how are, why are we here right now? Or it's a global catastrophe. Okay, that's too much for some people to handle. So they got to make up something about it. So they at least have a grasp on the situation. Fair, fine. Like have that. But when you walk outside, let's say we all don't understand jack shit about it. How about we just all figure out our ways to stop it? And I would say if it's transmitted through the mouth, we should probably put something around our mouths and noses or any of our, I would even say ears if you want to go that fucking far with it. But nose and mouth is right there. We should just do, and walk around like this. We can just walk around like this, but then you can't use your hands. So put something on your face. Does this not make sense to you? If you had the flu and you had to walk through a crowd of people, would you just go? Or would you be like, all right, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, my bad, my bad, my bad, excuse me, excuse me. I don't understand what you want, yo. And what scares me the most about discussing this is that it could all collapse within a second and we won't know. We won't know until we're confronted with it. And that's what I want to see. Are we going to get confronted with this issue and actually try to solve it somehow, some way? Or are we going to pretend like it doesn't exist again and we're just going to we're just going to do that forever? The new normal, the new normal's coming, the new normal. The new normal, the new normal. I can't even separate the time that I spend with real people versus the time I have to be online in order to make money to survive. You're lucky I enjoy it. <laughs> You're lucky the people who do it enjoy it. Or at least I hope they do. Because that's a whole nother layer and a whole nother conversation. I'm the paradigm shift. It's been good talking to you.